welcome back to Afternoon Live. Our next guest has combined chocolate, espresso, and toffee to create a cookie that almost seems too good to be true. Here to share her recipe, we welcome back our friend, professional baker, Megan Diaz. Hello. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All of our mouths are watering over oh. this one. <laughs> Well, yeah. These What's ones, not to love? I know. You get your coffee fix and your sugar fix all in one. I love, I love coffee that. with chocolate, too. Yeah. They're just like a match made in heaven. The like richness. They just love each other yes. a lot. So this was kind of like an easy thing to put the two together. So Where do we get started? We're going to get started. Um, I, in this mixer, I have two sticks of butter okay. and one and a quarter cup of granulated sugar and a half a cup of brown sugar. And we're just going to get that creaming. And while that's working, if you want to mix together our dry ingredients. Yes. So we've got one and three quarters cup of all-purpose flour. Okay. And then for our first, like, cocoa, we're going to do a half a cup of cocoa powder. Ooh. Yeah, so nice, rich Dutch cocoa. Oh, yeah. definitely that's worth it stuff, in this. Right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then here's our espresso. So okay. we have two and a half teaspoons of espresso powder. Sometimes it likes to get stuck in mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. um, You're coming with me. <laughs> so I amped up my, because I like to add espresso powder into most of my chocolate yeah. recipes. So this one I just amped it up so you can really taste it. I love that. Yeah. And then we've got three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda and kosher salt. So okay. if you just want to whisk that together so they're all nicely um, incorporated. Does it, the kosher salt give you a little bit more texture? Yeah, and you kind of get those little like salt hits oh, in the cookie, I which is really that. nice too. Yeah. Um, which I really enjoy. Especially with rich dark chocolate, it's yeah, just the best. It is. Um, if your cocoa powder is a little lumpy, you might have to run it through a sieve, but we're looking pretty good today, okay. so we don't have to worry about that. We're perfect yeah. over here. Um, all right, and so to the mixer, I'm going to add one egg. Okay. And then we um, have two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I want a little bit more because it just helps nice balance and round everything oh, sure. out. So well, there's, I want a little yeah, bit of vanilla. Yeah, a lot of dark, rich flavor happening. Yeah. I wanted okay. to lean into that. So we're going to give it one quick little scrape just so we can make sure everything's nice and Perfect. incorporated. Now, espresso powder, can you use any other form of a coffee if you have something else at home, or is it kind of what you need, that secret yeah. ingredient? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it really, it's just like a nice concentrated coffee flavor, yeah. and it dissolves beautifully into the cookies. Okay. So if you were to use like, um, gra like ground coffee, right. you'd get like bits of coffee still in it, mm. and that's not as pleasant. That's as pretty bitter. Yeah. Okay. And so um, I just always have espresso powder in my in my baking um, arsenal just okay. ready to go that's a good standby so ingredient yeah. yeah and it's shelf stable it lasts a long time okay. so and, and they're only small little jars oh so, perfect yeah it's not a big investment okay all right we're gonna add all of our dry ingredients yum and with cocoa powder it likes to balloon everywhere it is um floating <laughs> so here's my little trick oh nice i take up uh just a tea towel and i put it around it and just turn it on low real quick, and then that way you don't get that balloon. I've done it so many times. Yeah, and I learned. Uh, I learned through a lot of the ways. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> yes, and this has been working the, the best. You just cover it up, let it do its thing for a little bit, and then once it kind of mellows there down, you can take go. it off. Yeah. The simplest solution yeah. is usually the best. And then while this is going, we're going to add our. This is our crushed up toffee bits. Yum. And you can find them already crushed up in the grocery store now, which is really great. Oh, that's cool. So they're just in the chocolate chip aisle. Just grab them, add them to... We have everything now. I know. Jeez Louise. And then for a little bit more coffee flavor, we're going to add some cocoa nibs. So these are the um, seeds of the cacao. Right. And they've been um, fermented and roasted, and this is what eventually becomes chocolate. Okay. So this is before they grind it up and turn it into chocolate. Mm. So we're going to add this in just for another, like, I've also heard them called nature's chocolate chips because oh. they're chocolatey and lovely and crunchy and so they added a really nice kind of like texture. Well, there you go. To that. So and there's our cookie dough. Oh my gosh, that looks so <laughs> glorious. Nice and chocolatey. And so. Yum, yum, yum. And then we got a parchment lined okay. sheet pan here. Beautiful. And we're just going to scoop these and we're going to roll them in a little extra sugar. And that's what's going to give it that nice, like, that looks little so beautiful. crackly, yeah. sugary look on top. It does kind of give that really impressive presentation, too. It really too. does. And it's just regular granulated sugar. Okay. Nothing special. And then these ones spread quite a bit, so I only put like six to eight on a sheet pan. Okay. 
um, and you're going to bake them at 350 for 12 to 14 minutes. Okay. Just till like the edges get nice and set because you still want them to be kind of a nice, soft, chewy cookie. So. Well, yeah. Yeah, so you don't want to bake them too long. You don't want to overdo that. Yeah, and then um, once they come out of the oven, they look like these beauties. Here they are. Yeah. And I have to dive in. Oh my gosh, look how just perfectly beautiful. It's like <sighs> heaven. Mm. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of crunch in there. Yeah. But it's still ooey gooey in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yep, so they're nice and soft in the mm -hmm. middle, but crisp on the outside. And then you get that nice kind of crunchy texture from the cocoa nibs too. Yeah. Which is just a nice little something different. It's like I'm expecting a chocolate chip to be in there, mm -hmm. but it's a little bit different. Yeah. But it's super rich and fun. Yeah. And the sugar coating is really nice with yeah. all of the depth of flavor happening. You yeah. always bring us the best things. Thanks. Thank you so much. Of course. Yay. We'll have more on our website at katu.com. We'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.